2012, I took an epic road trip. 32 states, 13,000 miles, in a rented motorhome with my dog. Some of my friends thought I was crazy. But I wanted to write a book about dogs in America today. So I had to get on the road and meet as many dogs and dog people as I could. <laughs> I wondered what I could learn about our country by exploring our relationship to our pets. How do the ways we treat our dogs help us understand our values? We can't agree on much in our increasingly polarized country, but we tend to find common ground when it comes to our love for dogs. On one of my stops, I even met the dog whisperer, Caesar Milan. My dog proceeded to try to hump most of Caesar's pack. This Labrador is sensing, you know, that this pack, for his taste, is too soft. <laughs> Meet my dog, Casey. He likes eating sticks, rolling around in grass, and doing a trick called the little speak. Little. Good boy, little. Good boy, little. I'm hoping that this is kind of a bonding experience for me and Casey, who I love very much, but he can bring out a lot of my um, insecurities. I sometimes think that he'd uh, prefer to live elsewhere. In 1960, John Steinbeck traveled the country with his poodle for his book, Travels with Charlie. Steinbeck was trying to tell the story of America's soul. I hope to tell the story of America's dogs and their dog-crazy humans. A road trip wouldn't be a road trip, of course, without some surprises along the way. Meet Rezzy, the stray dog I found at a gas station in Arizona and decided to take along for the ride. Steinbeck wrote that we do not take a trip, a trip takes us. My journey took me to just about every corner of this country and taught me more than I could have imagined about myself, my relationship with Casey, and our national love affair with dogs. <laughs> <laughs>